Hi, I thought I would do some demos of the software uh, alongside just kind of development updates. And so this video is going to be walking through a patch that I was working on earlier while testing some stuff out. And alongside that, I'll mention some of the things that are kind of upcoming and also that I've been working on over the last couple of days. So I started with this drum sound. Uh, I'm not particularly interested in drums, this isn't a rhythmic patch I'm working on. I just wanted something with some really nice sharp transients, something spiky that I could then granulate and that's what I'm doing here. I'm using the extend scramble process and the granulate scramble process to make a kind of much longer um, textural sound that's very bubbly and very very grainy in a very kind of classic granular way because this patch is going to be using filter banks to kind of make like a droney tuned thing um, so i was just looking for a nice source material so i'm pretty happy with this sound it's got a fair bit of variation in it and it's going to work well so I've just used the recycle file button which brings the output back to the input and that just lets me delete out the processes that are already in there um, I don't need them anymore I don't want to make any changes to them uh, and now I'm just loading up a filter bank just to check that it works the way that I want it to Uh, so the nodes you can see down on the bottom left is just a little utility added today just for converting from notes to hertz. I was messing around with the filter banks today and it was driving me nuts uh, having to look up frequencies so I thought this was a, a much nicer way of dealing with it. Uh, I think there's something similar in Soundloom. So I'm just put a gain plug in after each of the filter banks because what I want to do with this patch is have a couple of different filter banks tuned to different frequencies uh, and then I'm going to automate the gain plugins so that they fade in one after the other giving me something that kind of shifts and evolves in time. <laughs> So in the end I settled on four filter banks um, and I just tuned them up to things that I thought sounded nice uh, and each one kind of increases its cue so it gets more resonant and it rings out for longer. And once I'd kind of settled on something there that I was quite happy with, it felt a little bit clean, it felt a little bit too pretty for what I was looking for. So I applied some distortion using the uh, power factor distortion node. And then it felt a little too gritty and a little too harsh at points. So I put a uh, low pass filter just rolling off the absolute highest, highest frequencies just so that it was just eased off a little bit. So I spent a long time fiddling with this. We're watching this very much sped up because I got lost in this for like 40 minutes. Um, but uh, it was a nice break. I've been doing a lot of programming on the project. Primarily what I've been doing is just looking to tidy things up and get the project ready to increase the number of processes. And so I've tidied up the code because it was a mess. Uh, I've only introduced one bug, which is always good. And what I've been doing is looking to move from the way that I was making nodes before, uh, which was manually, uh, and instead moving to a kind of database of CDP processes and generating the node from that, which will make things work much faster. And I've got most of parts of that in place, so um, I'll be ready to add an awful lot more processes. So uh, just a reminder that if there are processes you'd like to have added, if you put them on the GitHub in the discussions tab, if you comment on there, uh, I will try and add those first. There are nodes that at the moment I can't add because they don't play nicely with the way that SoundThread run CDP processes. It's not that they won't ever be added, it's just that right now they can't be added. But ones that I get commented, I'll take a good look at any of them that can be added. Those will be the ones that I'll prioritize because I want this to be useful to the people that are using it. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Uh, it's only been like a week or so since the beta came out. So it's going to be a little while till the next update. But um, yeah, so uh, here's the sound uh, of the kind of shifting filter banks with their gain being automated and running that through just a bit of distortion uh, just to rough things up. Mm -hmm. 